you today I'm going to be showing you how to join as you go, do the join as you go technique when it comes to tuning and crochet, whether you're joining squares like long panels or anything like that. Here I have worked up a swatch like a rectangle using the Tunisian knit and pearl stitches which I'll link to. You can click the eye to go visit those tutorials. Um, I'm using worsted weight yarn to keep it simple um, and my 6mm Tunisian crochet hook. Um, so here I chained 20 stitches and I've worked up a few rows. Um, when you're doing join as you go, what you want to do is you're going to take worsted weight yarn. This is my furls, um, wander yarn and thatch. Um, I'll link to it in my description. Um, so basically what you're going to do is go into the corner of your first square panel, um, whatever you're working with. And then we are going to join it into the corner and I like to just slip slip stitch onto here and then we are going to chain one um, we're going to chain 19 stitches so you always want to chain um, one less than your original square or panel because we are going to be working into these end stitches here um, which will count as our last stitch so I'm going to chain 19, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And here we're going to just work the um, foundation row as we usually do working into the back bumps so I'm gonna pull up a loop go into the back bumps and pull up a loop into each of the stitches in the back here Almost at all right, so we have a few stitches left here. It's a good idea to chain loosely when you're working into the back bumps. It can be hard if your tension was tight. Um, basically, I'm just going to pull up a loop into each of these stitches. Now we're at the last stitch here, the second last stitch. So I'm going to work into oh, that and make sure there's 19. So I'm going to do that as well. Let me just count, maybe I've already 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I do need to undo one more stitch. stitch here. And then what we're going to do is we are going to join into the next stitch here, the next row. We're going to go into this last stitch, the edge stitch, or the first stitch of the last panel. Um, make sure you go under both of these V's. You'll see there's two V's here. You want to go under both of them, yarn over, and pull up a loop. And then um, the return pass is also going to be different. We aren't chaining one um, because we already have that last edge stitch here. So we're just going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and just do that all the way across. And that's going to be our foundation row. And for this panel, I want to work in a honeycomb stitch. I have another tutorial for it, but um, I'll take you through what the honeycomb stitch looks like. So I'm going to do a simple 
Tunisian simple stitch, which means I'm going to go into the vertical bar, yarn over, pull up a loop. And then the next stitch, I'm going to do a purl stitch. So bring my yarn to the front, go into the next vertical bar, hold it down like that, yarn over and pull up a loop. That's my purl stitch. So I'm going to alternate the simple and purl stitch all the way across for this row. Simple, purl, simple, purl, simple, purl, simple, purl, simple, purl, simple, purl. And again, let's make sure we're counting our stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And what we're going to do is find our next row. Go into the edge stitch here. Make sure you're going under both the loops. Yarn over, pull up a loop. And then we're going to yarn over, pull through to do our return pass. And we're just going to continue that way. Oh, I'm going to show you the second row, sorry, of the honeycomb stitch. Um, which basically you're alternating the stitches, but you start with a purl stitch this time. So I'll show you what I mean. Um, all right, so we did our return pass. And then for this row, we are going to do a purl. So bring your yarn to the front, go into the vertical bar yarn up, hold your yarn down, yarn over, pull up a loop, and that's your purl stitch. And then you're gonna do a simple into the next. So go into the vertical bar, yarn over, pull up a loop, bring your yarn to the front. So again, we're just alternating our simple and purl, but they're offset because you started with the purl stitch. So we're just gonna continue that. I'm gonna link to, I've linked to the honeycomb um, stitch tutorial that you can watch if you want to learn how to do that stitch. It's a really fun and textured. All right, so again, we're getting close to the edge here. And what you're going to do is I'm going to work this last stitch, do my simple, and then you're going to go in, find the edge stitch, find your two loops here, you're gonna find the two loops. So here are the two loops. You're gonna go under, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through two all the way across. And we're just gonna continue in whatever pattern it is for our panel. For, for this one, I'm doing the honeycomb stitch. So we are just doing our return pass here. And that's it pretty much um, and then we're just going to continue going up and doing that. I'm going to complete up to the second last row and I'll meet you back for that last row and I'll show you how to bind off. It's pretty much a normal bind off but I'll do it with you guys. Alright so I'm at the last two rows here of this panel and then you'll see this rounded stitch here that's my bind off edge so i'm going to work two more rows and then i'm going to do a bind off so basically we're just following the pattern doing our honeycomb rows so simple pearl simple pearl let's continue that Again, work into that last edge stitch here. Then we're just going to do our return pass. Okay. 
All right. So I'm working the last row. And then I'm gonna bind off. So. Working into this last row again, remember to go under both loops and then yarn over and pull through two all the way across for our return pass. All right, now we are going to bind off very loosely. <laughs> Keep your tension loose here. Go in, yarn over, pull through the previous stitch. And that's how we do our bind off, trying to keep my tension loose so my project doesn't pucker up and it's so it's easy to build on these stitches if you're joining another color. Yarn over. Pull through the previous stitch, yarn over, pull through the previous stitch. We're just going to continue that until we get to our last edge stitch. And remember this rounded stitch I was talking about? The top stitch here. So I'm just gonna go under it and yarn over and pull through. And that is how I join my panels. And I'm just gonna take the yarn and cut my scissors. Alright, and that is how you join as you go in Tunisian crochet. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know if you have any comments, if you need any clarification. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff, and I will catch you guys next time.